In other headlines today, next month, the border will reopen to non-essential travel for the first time in more than a year and a half. Travel has been largely restricted since March of 2020 due to the pandemic, and Clara Benitez joins us now live from San Isidro with those new developments. Clara. Well, good afternoon, Kathleen. Yes, yeah, starting in November, CBP agents will allow fully vaccinated travelers to enter into the country to non-essential travel, which means visiting family, friends, or even for tourism. And San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria says that this is a step in the right direction and a step towards normalcy and to recover for the region. Obviously, this economic loss that we've had in the last few months. Since the start of the pandemic, non-essential travelers will be allowed back in the U.S. For too long, the restrictions at our border uh, have separated families, have devastated businesses uh, that rely on cross-border travel. The restrictions affecting hundreds of small businesses along the San Isidro and Otay Mesa border. San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria says the announcement comes at a critical time. We know that the holidays are approaching and this uh, announcement will allow the businesses uh, to, uh, in the area to seize upon the opportunities uh, presented by holiday shopping as well as holiday travel. But there are still some unanswered questions Mayor Gloria says need to be answered. The restrictions will be lifted in November. Uh, we don't have a precise date at this time. We also don't have an answer to uh, what uh, will happen for children uh, who are not eligible for vaccination and how that will be handled. Mexico has approved the use of nine vaccines with only 38% of its population fully vaccinated. We are still working with DHS on all of the details um, on exactly which vaccines will be uh, approved for this use, um, but we're also working very closely with the Biden administration and the House Committee on Foreign Affairs to make sure that we're uh, helping countries like Mexico get the vaccines that they need so that people uh, are not being penalized by this, but actually are having access to the vaccines and then able to come uh, across. And Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs says starting the new year, the Department of Homeland Security will require essential and non-essential travelers to provide proof of vaccination. If you've traveled uh, to some countries abroad, you may remember you have to bring a yellow card with you to prove some of your vaccinations. This is just like that. Um, you will have to bring your vaccination card uh, uh, and show um, the border agents that, that you have that proof. Now, if you are an American citizen or a green card holder, these rules do not apply to you. Again, this is only for Mexican nationals that want to come over to the United States for non-essential travel. Reporting here live in San Isidro, Clara Benitez, Fox 5 News.